Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. That's it. You hit it right on the head. Crazy. God said he will smite his people with madness. Meaning what? He will make them mentally unstable. Bring it out. A lot of our people are mentally unstable. Think about it. What will make a young man murder his mother or his grandmother because he won't be able to go outside or he can't hang out with his friends? Right. What would convince a young girl to have children in her father or her mother's house and then go and think to abort it? Or when she decides to keep it because she can't handle dealing with a child, she decides to throw it in the garbage or abuse that child. I've It's very important what he's going over concerning abomination, things that God hate, right? Let me ask y'all a question. All of y'all believe in God, right? You believe in God? I know you say you know you're an Israelite. You believe in God, right? What about you, Corey? Come here, come closer. Let me show you something, bro. Why did this happen to us? God real, right? So why did this happen to us? Curses, right? But in a Christian church, they say God don't curse nobody. They say God is love, right? Have you heard that before, sis? Come here, come closer. You from this neighborhood? What go on in this neighborhood? Sin. Sin, right? What kind of sin? All of it. All of it? Like, name it. Stealing. Stealing? What else? Lying. Lying? What else? Adultery. Adultery? What else? Idolatry. Okay, idolatry. Gang banging, right? right. Killing, murder. Watch this, watch this. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Let me show y'all something. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Because we came out here not to just run our mouths, right? Because it's very important what he's going out and he's teaching you commandments that you're supposed to be able to keep. Commandments that God gave us as the nation of Israel. Right. His holy children. I'm going to show you the importance of that. Watch this. Come on. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses, once he led us out of the wilderness, he said, It shall come to pass, meaning what? A future prophecy. If you do not hearken unto the voice of the Lord our God. This right here is the voice of the Lord our God. Not a Christian pastor, you understand? Because far too long, the Christian pastors have led our people into degradation. Are you a Christian, sis? Would you subscribe to Christianity? You said what? You Baptist. So you're a Christian, right? Did you know that the Baptist church was originated by a slave master? Bring it out. Did you know that? Bring it out. And he set up one of his slaves. He taught him how to read. He taught him how to read and he sought up that slave. First, he started out teaching the slaves Christianity in submission. And then he rose up a, a, another slave to continue and take his place. Teach. Teach. The Baptist church was the very first slave church in the South. Right. And we got the books to prove it. Teach. First African Baptist Church is the first black Baptist congregation in North America. The church was organized in 1773 under the leadership of Reverend George Leal. In 1859, the current sanctuary was built by slaves. In the church, a tunnel was discovered and is believed to be a part of the historic Underground Railroad. God and they think they're getting the truth, but really you're getting a slave religion. Right. This book is a revolutionary book. That's right. God's people are a revolutionary people. Right. You understand? Watch this. Come on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 28. So God said, if you don't keep his commandments that he 
was going to place curses on his people, which are the Israelites. The Israelites are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It's not those doggone Israelis over there in the Jewish state of Israel that was formed in 1948. Those are the Edomites. Those are the nation of people that enslaved you, that insured the ships. The same people that are, that are, are plotting against you to stay into poverty. You understand? Watch this. Verse 28. Come on. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. What? Smite thee with madness. How many times have you seen people out here that minds ain't all the way right? You know what I mean? They sometimes seem like they got sense until they start talking to you. Or maybe they start doing things with their arms or you see them talking to themselves. Read that again. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. God said he will smite his people with madness. Hey, Corey. Corey. Do you know what it means to be smitten with madness? You don't know what it means? What, what would you say? Sister? Take your mask off. I, I can't hear you. What does it mean to be smitten with madness? If you don't know, it's okay. Huh? Believe in what people are saying? What would you say? Crazy. That's it. You hit it right on the head. Crazy. God said he will smite his people with madness. Meaning what? He will make them mentally unstable. Bring it out. A lot of our people are mentally unstable. Think about it. What will make a young man murder his mother or his grandmother because he won't be able to go outside or he can't hang out with his friends? Right. What would convince a young girl to have children in her father or her mother's house and then go and think to abort it? Or when she d decides to keep it because she can't handle dealing with a child, she decides to throw it in the garbage or abuse that child. I've seen even in some cases where a woman will talk to other pedophiles and will pay another pedophile to rape their child for money, thinking that that child has something, some type of uh, pleasure for their boyfriend or whatever nonsense it is. It up, These are mentally unstable people. Right. Mentally unstable people, but God said these are curses that he will put on black and Hispanic people for what? Breaking his commandments. Right. But how did these people become mentally unstable? Come on. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness uh -huh. and astonishment of heart. That's that astonishment of heart, meaning what? We don't know where we're going. We have no vision for ourselves, no vision for our nation. How much have we increased economically? Socially, ever since the projects got downtown, got torn down. Very How much low. have we increased? Because this right here was, this is an up and coming neighborhood, but when we got over here, this was the ghetto. Wake them up. Over there in Inglewood. How was our condition in Inglewood? Right. Those were real good homes, and now they ran down. Right. We were selling drugs to our own people. Some of us abused alcohol, cigarettes, weed, and the weed ain't even a real weed that God created from the beginning. Y'all smoking drugs. I'm not saying you personally, but in our people generally, they smoking drugs. Right. Right? These are drugs or, or, or herbs that was created in a lab. Some of us on fentanyl, we on pills, right? And we walk around all up and down the street singing all these uh, uh, detestable music, listen to, uh, what's her name, Sexy Red, Glorilla, Migos. Our minds have been dilapidated. It's collapsed. You understand? Right. Watch this. Come on. And thou shalt grope at noonday. You know what it means to grope? And it's not talking about like a, a, a sexual grope, like you feeling on somebody grope. It's talking about when, you, when it's so dark and you putting your arms out like this and you're trying to find for a way to go because you can't see. Bring it out. So he says, you shall grope at noonday. Noonday is when the sun is at its highest peak. You're supposed to be able to see, right? But even though that there's light right here, like right here, we are that light. We are the noonday, believe it or not. But our people will look and walk past and say, no, I want to go to the Christian church. Right. Or no, we need to go deal with black empowerment and economics. Right. right? Or no, we should be more Americans. Right? Or no, I should be a vice lord or a BD. Bring it out. We grope at noonday when whole time the answer was right here sitting on your nightstand collecting dust. That's right. It was right here in front of your face. So it says, we shall grope at noonday, right? Come on. As the blind gropeth in darkness. Come on. Come and on. thou shalt not prosper in thy way. None of us have prospered in our ways as a nation of people. 
As a nation of people, a lot of us are still stricken with poverty. A lot of us, and we've got the inflation of the dollar that's keeping us in our poor state. So things that used to, that we thought was expensive back then, now we're looking at it like, dang, man, gas was cheap. It's getting high now. Food getting too expensive. Bring it out. You coming out the grocery store with one grocery bag and you spent a hundred dollars. Right. Read it again. If thou shalt not prosper in thy way, if thou shalt be only oppressed, what? only oppressed, what? only oppressed. Who is the Bible talking about? It it's out. talking about you blacks and Hispanics. Yes. God right. said we shall only be oppressed yeah. for breaking his commandments. That's how we've been smitten with madness. Yeah. Because of the environments that we live in. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!